Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Vest for ArizonaCoyotes.com. I'm with Coyotes President and CEO Anthony LeBlanc. And Anthony, just a huge day for the Coyotes mm -hmm. and their fans with the announcement of a new arena, a proposed arena for the city of Tempe. Can you explain to us how significant this day is and, and a little of the uh, details of the announcement? Sure. Uh, I mean, from the significant standpoint, it's probably the most significant thing we we will do off the ice um, in the, our tenure as, as owner. Uh, this is all about uh, ensuring that we have a location that is um, accessible and easily accessible by the majority of our fan base. And I know it, whenever you, you make a, a change like this, uh, you're going to upset some people. And, and we understand that. And it's unfortunate and it especially so since we have so many great fans here in the West Valley but uh, we're certainly hopeful that our West Valley fans will continue to stick with us uh, once we ultimately do do make our way over to the East Valley uh, but this is this is a, a very significant day for the Coyotes and and uh, uh, we're just really excited to be at this point can you tell our fans exactly where the arena will be built, uh, when, um, and just some of the uh, particulars, if sure. all goes as planned? Yeah, I mean, so the, the focus is on uh, what's referred to as the old, gar or the, I shouldn't say the old, the Karsten Golf Course. It's the back nine of the gar Karsten Golf Course. So it's, uh, it's, it's basically just due west of uh, Tempe Town Place. And um, it, it's a wonderful location, very easily accessible from the 101 and 202. Uh, and as I said, you know, it's, it's quite close to the majority of our fan base um, and and what we're going to focus on now is we're just going to work with with a number of key stakeholders that we need to work with over the next couple of months to get us hopefully to the point of having shovels in the ground I'd say before the beginning of this coming season so before the beginning of the uh, the 17 18 season and our aim is to have the building open before the beginning of the 1920 uh, coyote season can you speak about the facility itself? Included in the press release today were details about having an additional sheet of ice mm -hmm. adjacent to the arena itself. Tell us about that, uh, how that will be used, and just the advantage of having the practice rink there for the team. Well, I mean, it will serve as a practice practice facility, but its primary use is actually for ASU athletics. So it's a, a, our, uh, the main building will have uh, just over 16,000 fixed seats. The attached facility will have 4,000 fixed seats. Uh, so that will be utilized by a number of ASU athletics. It will, as I said, it will also be utilized as a practice facility for the Coyotes, but most importantly, it'll be utilized as a community rink, okay. which is really important to us because if you look at successful models in other non-traditional markets, the key, and we don't have to look any farther than Mr. Austin Matthews, is grow the sport amongst the youth and any anytime you're going to build new ice rinks it's an, an important day for for a franchise like ours because it's going to help grow the sport and that's um, something we're very proud of but yeah so that you will have that as part of the arena but this is at the end of the day will be a very large development just under 60 acres uh, that will include a hotel and offices and other things to come partnering with Arizona State University can you give us a sense of the genesis of that and how well the two entities have partnered. Sure. I mean, we started discussions about two years ago uh, when it was announced that they were moving uh, their, their hockey program to D1. Um, that was, I think, the first time I had the opportunity uh, to, to meet with Ray Anderson, who just, it turns out to be one of the, just the best guys you're going to deal with. But it, that goes across the board. I mean, everybody that we deal with in, in more detail, such as their CFO, Morgan Olson, or John Career, who's responsible for real estate, and of course, the people at Catellus, who we've ultimately partnered with, it has just been a really pleasant experience. But the, the original conversation were back when we didn't envision a day when we were leaving this facility. So they were looking at building a specific hockey facility, and we were talking to them to them about building a two-sheet facility for a, for a practice facility for us. And then when everything happened with Glendale back in the summer of, I guess that was 15, uh, Ray and I were on the phone and said, maybe we should look at something bigger. And that's what we've done, and that's, that's what led to where we are today. And finally, a message to our fans who are watching this about, uh, this is all about two, three years down the road. Correct. Can you fill us in on what's going to happen leading up to that? Well, I mean, I, what we're hoping is that people, that they take us for, for our word, what we've been able to say in the past and accomplish what we've, we've said we'd, we were setting out to accomplish. Uh, I'm hoping people now just focus on hockey. Uh, I, I know that, you know, since uh, our arena lease was terminated, there's been a lot of questions about our future. Look, we, we've selected the site. There's a lot of wood left to chop, and we're going to be working on that tirelessly over the next se several months uh, to get to the point 
point of, of getting shovels in the ground. But I, I think our fans shouldn't look for any more updates really until probably the end of the season, uh, which is when we'll be at a point that we'll start sharing some some more detailed plans. But I think everybody should just be happy and understand that we we've, what we've said all along is the case, which is this team is here to stay. We're looking forward to the new location, and we'll do the work in the background to get it done. Okay, Anthony, thank you very much. We appreciate it as always. Thanks, Dave. For Anthony LeBlanc, I'm Dave Vest for ArizonaCoyotes.com.